What's up guys, JB2017 here, and I'm just going to be showing you my mage build, Primal Mage, and um, it's very unique, it's not like normal mages I would say, and I'm sorry I don't have a level 20 character, but I do have all the statistics and everything that um, I'll be able to explain clearly for you guys, so we're going to start off with the attributes, and a starting mage starts out with the base uh, number of 11 strength, 11 dexterity, 13 magic, 12 cunning, 12 willpower, and 11 constitution. And as a mage and a damage mage, of course, that's what a primal mage is. And what I mean by primal, I'll get to that in a second, is that's the, uh, what, do you, what do they call it here? Ability, you know, tree that we'll be putting most of our points into and focusing on. So, Basically, as a mage, all you're going to want to put your points into are magic and willpower, because magic directly increases your magical damage and protects you against magic, which is cool. And then willpower increases the mana you can, you know, that is available to you, so you can cast more spells more often. And constitution, you know, I guess I would kind kind of, you know, put that as a tertiary skill, <laughs> if you will. Uh, it's not really secondary because it's not that. In, important to a mage. Of course you want to survive, but a mage is supposed to be able to get out of battle. And so, I mean, you know, not get hit during battle. So, basically you get 64 attribute points from um, at level 20. You would have already uh, spent 64 points, three per level. And, you know, it's really interesting. I don't know how that math works, but that's what I had over on my warrior, 64 points. And so we're looking at really just splitting them between magic and willpower. And of course, magic, like I said, started at 13, so you'd end up with 45 points, uh, if I did my math correctly there, for magic at level 20. And I know that, that there's uh, levels higher than 20, but I'm just making that what I'm basing all of my um, numbers off of. And for willpower, since we started at 12, uh, as the base, you would end up with 44 willpower, and that's just splitting the two. And you might want to consider putting four into constitution if you're uh, getting, you know, owned in battle a lot, but the primal mage has a skill that kind of increases your survivability, which is very nice, and I'll get to that in a second. So you can really make that decision for yourself. So I'll go over to the abilities here. And we are a primal mage, which right here it says, the mage commands earth and sky. And that's very special and all. So, Rock Armor is the first ability, kind of the main staple ability of the Primal Mage, which gives you, of course it says 25% armor, and uh, takes 10% of your mana reserves, which is not a big deal, to be honest, uh, for that kind of armor protection, because you'll meet bosses in the games on higher difficulties that were they'll, they'll just immediately one-shot you, which is not cool. So then we'll go to... The next skill, which I would say this is the staple skill because this is an attack, Stone Fist. And you basically just like, it's just like, wah, you know, Stone Fist. And uh, uh, it causes physical damage and knocks enemies on their backs uh, with four times. I don't know really what that means. Uh, costs 20 mana and uh, has a cooldown of 15 seconds, which means you'll be using this most likely in longer battles uh, twice at least. And so then we have Petrify, which basically it's like a, an earthquake kind of thing. It encases the enemy in stone, and they can't move for 15 seconds. That's a really, really, really long skill, and it's kind of crazy to think about. 100% um, chance to paralyze any enemy. I don't know if a, about big bosses, but uh, that's what you're looking at. Next we have Chain Lightning, which can arc two times. I don't know if that means two times after the first arc, but it's like, you know, lightning. Shabam. And uh, you hit one enemy and it arcs two times. So I guess that means it has a chance of uh, affecting a total of three enemies, and it costs 30 mana, 20 second cooldown. So I guess if you want to use that on clusters of enemies, you know, little clusters. Uh, next we have Tempest, which is basically... Yeah, across a, across a wide area of the battlefield, lightning comes down and causes uh, damage over time, which is very, very cool. And land, uh, sorry, it, ugh, what am I saying? It lasts, that's what I meant to say, for 20 seconds. So, very long thing. You want to really pop this at the beginning of battles, as you'll uh, see in a second. So, 
And of course, all of those abilities have little uh, upgrades, which I won't go over because they're just upgrades. And finally, we have Galvanism, which just basically increases your electricity power, uh, sorry, damage, and you know all of the stone-based abilities that I just went over. And of course, it says right there, it increases everything by about 125% and your electricity damage by 25%. And increases your mana regen. So uh, that's what we're looking at for the primal tree. And uh, I gotta say that's the most interesting out of all of these. The elemental is just obvious. Uh, it's you know what a mage is really. And then spirit's kind of boring. And so is arcane and entropy. And creation is for you know healers. So those are of course my opinions. I don't know. I don't know. They could be cool. So uh, and of course we have specialization trees. And really. Ideally, you're supposed to just pick one, and it's really, wow, that was, that was a voice crack. Oh my god, thumbs up for that voice crack. I don't think I've ever done that on one of my videos. Oh man, embarrassing. Okay, so uh, you can either pick a force mage or a blood mage. I'm going to leave that option up open to you guys and not really go into detail because I'll probably go over these in a future video. If you want me to do a video over a blood mage, please let me know, and I'll tell you which class really couples with blood mage the best. It'll probably be entropy, but I'm not sure. Um, and of course, spirit, spirit healer goes with creation, and force mage, this is just, I don't even know. But um, you have plenty of skills with the primal tree that I showed you, and I hope you guys enjoyed this build, and I hope you enjoyed the little gameplay that I put over uh, this video because um, it really shows you guys how cool uh, this class is and uh, let me know what you think about it and of course I'd like suggestions as far as uh, different classes as you can tell the mage is extremely flexible um, you know you can be a healer mage and you can be several different types of damaging mages you know elemental would probably go great with force so thank you for watching guys this is JV2017 and I will talk to you later peace